a lot of times we're on Facebook and we're on these different social media platforms and we're doing all this activity to generate likes and we're generating hearts. But are you really owning the data of the people who are interacting with your content? Hello and welcome to Tech Talk Tuesday. My name is Michael Demon. I'm the founder of WeMergeMedia.com, where I provide digital marketing services and support for small business owners. I host Tech Talk Tuesday every week at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time to teach small business owners how to work smarter and not harder using technology. For today's episode, we're going to talk about lead magnets and how to create them using free templates in Canva. I'll show you a couple examples of lead magnets that I created for clients. I'll give you an idea of how they work and how you can use them to build your business. And then I'll also talk about some ways that you can use them in order to build your email list. One of the most invaluable things you can own today is data. So billions of dollars are transferred between companies, even if the company is not doing so well revenue wise, if they have a good database of people. Um, our contact information is invaluable. And for you as a business owner, it should be just as important to you as it is to a big, large corporation. Lead magnets have been around for a very long time and they work well if you offer something to people who can use it. So one example would be for the Barnes Realty Group, which I'll walk through today, is they're providing people with information on how to buy a home and how to sell a home. Um, we created two different lead magnets for them, one of them being a PDF download, but we also have a webinar method where we're offering a free workshop that will allow people to sign up and attend a live Zoom meeting where they can learn more about how to get ready for the qualification process, um, what they can buy, all of that good stuff in a live meeting. In both cases, we're providing people with invaluable information that they need in order to accomplish a goal that they want. And in exchange for that, they're providing us with their contact information. Uh, once you get that contact information, it's important that you respect it and treat it properly uh, because this is about relationship building at that point. A lot of times we're on Facebook and we're on these different social media platforms and we're doing all this activity to generate likes and we're generating hearts. But are you really owning the data of the people who are interacting with your content by using lead magnets and lead generation strategies? You're opening the door for people to be able to provide you with their information willingly in order to receive the valuable information and support that you can provide for them. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to walk you through a couple of examples so that you can see um, how we can use lead magnets. And then we're going to switch over to Canva where I'll show you a quick and easy way to make a lead magnet using free content. All right, perfect. So let's start here at the Barnes Realty Group. When you visit the BarnesRealtyGroup.com, you'll see right away that we have a couple of things that we're calling out. Uh, one of them is that we're downloading or giving people the ability to download a free ebook that's going to help them prepare for how to buy and how to sell a home in the winter of 2021. Uh, the real estate market is one that changes frequently, and there are a lot of things that may change over time with the market demand. Um, so it's important for them in the real estate industry to have these seasonal guides so that people can plan the right strategy to accomplish their real estate goals. So here you can see we have two different league magnets, uh, both of them being eBooks that are free to download. And when people find one that they want, they simply can click on the, build, the button to download it. And then we take them to a page where they can enter their email address and they can download that information. So all they have to do is submit this. And in the back end, we collect that information on the back end in an email marketing system. And then the software system will allow them to automatically download or we'll give them a link to be able to go and claim the offer. What's nice about this is that you're providing people with something that number one, positions you to be an expert on your topic in your field. And then number two, you're providing them something that they can really use to start building that relationship with you and establishing trust with you. Uh, so lead magnets are great for both of those things and it's a win-win in both situations. Here, I'll go back and show you another way that you can do a lead magnet, not using a PDF, but just by providing either some free content or a recorded or a live video. So as you can see, the Barnes Realty Group has on the 18th, a, a workshop that's going to help people go from renting to home ownership. And here people can register for this for free workshop. Um, they'll be able to land on a landing page, which is going to give them a little bit more information about what this workshop is for. So they can decide, is this something that they want to do? Uh, this is being provided free of charge because this is going to give people an opportunity to, to attend this and to hear from Dion at the Barnes Realty Group, but then also a way for them to start building that relationship as we talked about before and getting the information that they need to make a decision about how 
to pursue this. So here, when people sign up today, we're going to go ahead and have a form that they fill out again using the email marketing system that's going to allow us to collect that information. And then afterwards, we send them a free PDF download to get ready uh, for the webinar. We also send them the information on how to log in. But now Dion has the opportunity to start building and establishing that relationship with that client. Um, so that's two different ways that you can develop a lead magnet, uh, one being a webinar or a video of some sort, and then two being a PDF. Now here you get to see this one that I created for Carrie Smith at One Tranquility Group. Uh, Carrie is in the travel industry and she helps people with two things. Um, one of them is to book travel and then the other is to help people who want to learn how to travel but then earn the commission from the money they spend on their trips. And so Carrie has a free ebook that helps people do that, just discover the benefits of starting a business in the travel industry. Uh, when they click on download free ebook, we take them to a page where they can again enter their first name and their last name and their email address, and then they get to download this PDF that we created in Canva that's going to give them information that they need to figure out how to do this. So let's talk. Um, so let's go over to Canva so I can show you how to create the lead magnet, and then I'll talk in the end about what you would do after you have your lead magnet created. Um, so for the sake of time, we're going to go ahead and just use one of the most common and, and simple lead magnets, and that is to create a checklist. So if I come on to Canva, they have a search box. I can type in checklist. And you don't need any great level of skill for this. As you can see, when I put checklists in, I get a page full of pre-designed templates. Now, the nice thing about these templates is that they can be customized to your brand colors. You can change the text. You can change the title. You can change the images. All you're really looking for at this point is to find something that has the layout or the look that you want. Um, so I think I'm going to use this template here because it's nice and simple and easy. I like that it has the big call out. You know, lists are big these days. You'll see blog articles and lead giveaways where they say three ways to do something or five ways to do something. So in this example, I'm going to use this template here. And from this point, I can use everything within Canva to be able to customize this for um, the audience that I want and for the information that I want. Um, so here I have an image. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on uploads and I'm going to use one of my clients logos. So there this is for health connections. I'm going to upload this drag it here. A uh, nice thing about Canva is when you drag an image or if you drag a logo in, it's going to give you an opportunity to extract these colors so that you can customize this a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to do this as an example for Health Connections. Uh, they hold mobile um, COVID-19 testing in the city of Milwaukee. And I'm going to go ahead and customize this real quickly just so you can see how to make this for you know your industry or what it is that you do. Um, so I'm going to change this color. Here you see that I have the logo here, and I'm able to pull these colors from the logo to customize this a little bit. Um, as I mentioned, they do COVID-19 testing. So let's pretend that we're going to make a guide that's going to help people prepare on how to come to Health Connections to get their COVID-19 test. So I'm going to go ahead and change this image to something that is related to COVID-19 or for testing. All you have to do in Canva is type in some keywords, and you'll get a long list of uh, images that you can use. Now, if you're using the free account, uh, you have some you have quite a bit of images to choose from, but if you have a pro account, it's going to give you access to some higher quality stock images that are probably, I'm not going to say like better, but more. You have more options as to uh, the images that you have with the pro account. So just by searching for that, I have all these different images that I can use and pull into this guide. Here I can type in um, how to prepare for your I'm just going to say COVID because I don't know if they're free, <laughs> 19 tests. And at this point, I can go ahead and change this font. So if I want to use a different font, I can do so. And then if I want to change this color, I can use something from the logo to do that too. Um, so here, I'm just going to delete that. As you see, I'm already done with my cover page for my free lead magnet. The next thing that I would do is come over to the next page. And again, I can change my title font here and then I can put my steps here. Right now, these have check boxes. So if people want to print this out and check off the things as they go through it, they can do so. Uh, but you can just type your own text in here and make whatever you need. And then on the last page, I have a thank you page that's going to allow people to um, take the next step. So this is usually where you'll want to place your call to action, uh, give them a button or give them a link. Um, I can highlight any of these and I can click a 
uh, link here and I can put a website address in here so that when people have this PDF and they're looking at it on a device connected to the internet, uh, they can click on that and I can take them over to where they need to be. Um, if I wanted to add an element like a button on here, all I have to do is go to elements. I can type in buttons. And then I have all these different buttons that I can just add to my page. Uh, once that button is on my page, I can put some text on top of it. And then I can hyperlink that, um, send this to the back. I can hyperlink that button to go over to whatever website or whatever thing I needed to go to. So once I have this, all I have to do is just click the download arrow and I'll be able to download this. I usually recommend the standard PDF format uh, because it's gonna make the file a little bit smaller and quicker to download. Um, you can also download this in other formats. So if you wanted to use this as a lead generator on Instagram, you can download it as an image. But once you get to this point and you download your document, I now have my lead magnet. Um, one thing you'll want to do in order to prepare for this and to do it quickly is think about what you're offering. Think about what you can help people do. Uh, one of the most popular things that people search for on Google is how to do something. So if you could think about the things in your industry using your expertise that you can help people do in a PDF guide, you have the makings of a great lead magnet. Once that lead magnet is created, you then want to go over to your website or over to whatever email marketing system that you have and create your landing page and create your sign up forms. Um, so I talked about constant contact because that's the one that I use. Uh, that's the one I use for my clients. Um, I ha have a, a link that I can send to you if you want to give contact, constant contact a try. Um, I'll put that in the comments below. So once you have the PDF ready to go, the next step is to take that over to your system and then you just create your landing page or you create your sign up form. Um, you can also use this lead magnet. If you look at last week's episode, uh, we created instant lead generation forms in Facebook. And in there, you didn't even have to have an email marketing system or a website. All you needed was to create that instant form for your Facebook page. And then you can uh, create a sign up form and then give people the option to download your PDF from there. So that's essentially it. Um, if you have any challenges or struggle with this, there's tons of video on how to use Canva to do these things. I wanted to choose a way for you to create these that was minimal barrier to entry, uh, something that was free, something that's easy to use, and something that's going to allow you to put this into place and to go. Uh, having this contact information for your prospects and people interested in working with you is invaluable. Um, it's the way that people build relationships with potential clients. Um, Facebook is a billion dollar business, not because it has likes and hearts, but because it has data on people. So if you can model yourself after what the large corporations are doing, build up your audience, build up your clients, Tell, build up your list and your prospects and just share and provide value with people um, so that you can start building that up and then therefore building relationships, therefore increasing your revenue earning opportunities and growing your business. So that's how you can use Canva to create lead magnets quickly and cheaply. I hope this information was helpful and I hope you put it into use. Um, again, if you missed last week's episode, go back and watch how to use Facebook instant forms and you'll see how you can use that lead magnet on Facebook. You can boost it with an ad. Um, if you have an email marketing system, you wanna also create a lead generation sign up form there so that you can place it on your website and do the things like I showed you on the Barnes Realty Group and the One Tranquility Group. So that's our episode today. I hope this information is helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you um, after this episode. Thanks for checking in and tuning in to Tech Talk Tuesday, and I'll see you next week, Tuesday, where we'll talk about hmm, what will we talk about more sales and more lead generation. Let's do that. All right. Have a good Tuesday.